All right, so this is part six. So I got past... Let's see, let's back back here. I got past uh, Sunken Keep. I got past this Castle of Storms and the, and the Hall of Red Cages. So now we're on to Hager's Cavern. So let's do this. Continue game. Lord Bane. And here we are at the Red Hall of Cages. Alright, if you remember, I died on the last part of my playthrough. At least I think I did, but uh, we have to backtrack there. Alright. So I'm going to use, let's see, an like offering, I'm going to put a stone guide here, stone merchant, and that'll be it. And we'll put a stone blacksmith here as well. Before we go up there, let's check down the cavern. few items down there. Holy shit. Run away. Okay, split sabatons, a lord, the orders of soldiers, poem, and something else, which I didn't have time to read. Stone guide. Great. We found another stone guide. We always need those to teleport. Locked. Caution. Ambush. Scary. Oh, that's scary. Alright, that's all that's there. Idol. 
Oops. Dude, the amount of times I fall, I die from falling in this game is ridiculous. I mean, half the times I've died, I've died because of falls. Uh, the enemies haven't even killed me. Now I'm gonna have to backtrack and get my saw. Let's get my salt. No. Give me my salt back. Use the cellar key. Warhorn. Ow. Hey there, I'm Minty Skull, but some call me the Devil Skull and the Fearless Scourge of the Red. You can, you can just call me Mints. Some people shrink in the face of danger, I thrive on it. There are two types of people in this world, harvesters and plants. I'm a harvester, what are you? Harvester. Harvester, eh? Not good enough to pr prove it. Are you a harvester? Yes, give the Lord's ear. I'm a harvested a bit, so I've got some nice things, some more crap, we can help each other out. Pouch of salt. Charred locket, charred doll. No, I need to, I need, to, I still need to upgrade my, uh, my main sword to, uh, plus seven. So she doesn't have any other items I need, so I might as well just leave. Symbol of affluence. Do I have this? Increases gold find rate. No, I haven't gotten that yet. No. Oh my god, I almost died. Screw this area, I'm out of here. Hagger's Cavern, or Hager's Cavern, one of those two. Alright, Tree of Skill, so we have six of these. So now we can buy class six, ar class five heavy armor. And a point of endurance. I'll probably get a strength. All right. So now let's see if we can if we can uh, hold the uh, Titan armor. So now, what is this Titan armor? Where is the Titan armor? Titan Greave. All right, so now we can, now we have the whole Titan set. That's great. Titan, 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 Titan. Great. And I level up seven more times to 125. Then I'm done leveling up.
Hunting Bones Rib. We'll grab a series of lights here. Oh, that wasn't that hard. Stone Mage, now I have to backtrack. No, I'm dead. Didn't appear. It's not like I had much salt anyway. Do we have a stone leader? I need another expunge sanctuary so I can get another uh, flask, another blood vial. Already went that way. Daring Skull. I want to jump. Uh, sack of Salt. Sack of Shit. Sack of Shit. Found a sack of Shit. This is in Salt and Sanctuary. It's Shit and Sanctuary. You level up by finding Shit. You get high off smelling Shit. Anyway. Let's just jump. Ah. Looks like there's an item up here. What is this? A flame guardian. What I don't need. Saper Charm. And I believe this goes to the Sunken Keep. Sunken Keep, yep. If you remember back in part three, I believe, where I faced the Cyclops. It said I was in Hager's Cavern for a bit, and then I couldn't get through the cage. That's where the cage, I mean, that's where the, uh, that's where the gate leads. <clears throat> so the gate leads to Hager's Cavern. Alright. Found a drowned idol. A whistlebone charm. Bury a burying fire pot. Barker.
Stone Mage. Shockstone. Now. Use the cellar key. Shard doll. This Palatine, oh, okay, it's a Palatine set. I don't exactly remember my first playthrough where I went to get the keys. Uh, you got the cellar key and that unlocked the door, and now I'm supposed to get the main boss key, which I don't remember where it is. And so I have the cellar key and now I need to find this key. I have no idea where. I do remember it said to go up somewhere. Unless you go this way. Maybe you go this way. Golden Stone Charm. Apparently that's not the right way. Hold on a second. No, it's not a illusionary wall. Illusionary wall. Oh my god. It says it's locked. How do I get up there? I don't know. I mean, you might have to look this up. Hold on, ladies and gents, let me work this up quick. I remember now. All right, let's do this.
There we go. Now I got it. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's explore the rest of this area of Hager's Cavern. Ring of Brilliance? What does this do? Illuminate Surroundings, and I already have another one, so that's where the Ring of Brilliance. No! Woe and Crozier. Okay. And a stone cleric. And what is it is down here? Now. Armor my chitin. Daring Skull and another armor my chitin. Yeah, I don't really need to be saying all the names of everything I got, I just wanna make it seem like I'm saying something to the stream. Or the recording or whatever. Found sanctuary. Or checkpoint I should say. This sword that I have, the, uh, the Star Fritcher, it's supposed to be the best sword in the game because of how high it frequently attacks. It attacks at a higher frequency for the gun, for the uh, weapons that you can transpose at um, alchemists, the stone alchemists, and uh, it also has a 150 of base attack at its highest uh, level up upgrade range, so it's definitely OP. It's better than any other sword you can find in this game. Even though it doesn't attack the doesn't have the highest attack power, but the fact that it hits so fast and kind of overrides the fact that it's not, it doesn't have the greatest attack power. So that's why I'm killing these enemies pretty fast. It should be a little harder this game, but I just want to show you the basics of uh salt and sanctuary. And you're not dying, it's starting to piss me off. Starting to piss me off. Finally. Alrighty. Oh my god, the skeleton just fucking killed me. Wow, it got in my way. I couldn't jump. Because I couldn't jump, I jumped at short range and I, did, and I killed myself. Yeah, thank you, game. All because that fucking skeleton wouldn't move his ass. Wow. What a great game mechanic. Just 
just have them uh, you get teleport right in your face so you can't jump, and then you jump short and kill yourself. That, that's just great. I got gold. I think I'm going a bit too far. Alright, maybe not. There we go. Alright, let's do this again. Hopefully the skeleton won't teleport in my face. So I don't jump correctly. Well, I'm dead. Just lost two lives, two lost two um, level ups, almost. But this is what makes the game fun. Dying like this, it makes the game interesting. It makes the game, the whole gameplay from beginning to end, longer. And so you're gonna really have that thrill and anticipation of getting farther in the game. And once you do, it's gonna feel great simply because it was challenging and it was hard. This game was pretty challenging and hard the first time I played the game. But now that I'm NG Plus and I got everything, even though I beat it at a moderate level, it's a bit easier than it was the first time I played it. The first time you play this game, if you ever wanna get Salt and Sanctuary, I definitely, I definitely uh, recommend it. It's gonna be a great challenging game. For those of you who don't look, you know, what the best weapons are and what the best armors are and how you beat bosses, if you just want to try to find out how to do that yourself, I would definitely, if you want to make the game harder, I didn't go for it, but the way I did it is I just looked up and like what to do. I didn't do this for every boss, probably like every other boss, one in every three bosses. And I figured, and some of them gave me a challenge and the, the one that was hardest for me was the Witch of the CN Lake. I died to that boss like 25 times until I finally beat her ass. And it, I didn't use a shield because she spammed mage magic attacks. But um, yeah, it was definitely a boss that gave me a thrill and gave me a good gave me a good time because of how hard it was, and it was just a great relief to finally beat her. And that great relief was what makes games good, games like this. So. What makes a game a great game? To have it hard, to have it challenging. A lot of games these days don't. They guide the player on what to do, and when they don't guide the player on what to do, like if it's a boss, it's usually an easy boss. It's straightforward. It's not like old times. It's too many checkpoints. This game doesn't have many checkpoints, and it makes it more rewarding and more thrilling to play. So. Yeah, here. Queer. Hopefully I don't get one shot by this guy's screaming attack. That was kind of retarded. Get out of here. No! Even the button press was delayed. I pr I'm pressing X to jump, and it doesn't come out until three seconds later, and because of that, I fall. 
Don't do that again. Don't do that again. No! Oh my god, I died again! Obliterated. I'm doing terrible this this recording. Can't even get to the damn boss. I'm gonna have to walk past these bags. Didn't want to play like this, but leave me no choice. Walk past you. Walk past you. Yeah, but the few of you that are watching my stream, just if you ever want to play a Souls game or a 2D platformer Souls game, then this is definitely the game for you. I definitely recommend it. I give it a not, probably a nine out of ten. The only reason why it's not getting its ten is because if you're looking for multiplayer, it doesn't have multiplayer. You can get a stone cell sword and get um, offer it to your sanctuary, and allows you to do local co-op. But there is no uh, actual online multiplayer in this game, so. That's the only reason why I don't give it a 10. You are annoying. Learn to die. You really are a bitch. Oh, we smited my lord right forward, and you will never speak again. Mr. Bitch. Not get attacked by your lightning. No lightning attacks. Learn to die. Your hippocampus will absorb the knowledge of your death. Therefore, you shall die repeatedly by killing yourself. That made no sense, but I don't care. Since the boss coming up, here's the boss. Disemboweled husk. Ow. Oh shit. Keep staggering him. Stagger! Stagger! You're nothing! You're nothing! Ow, I could I couldn't dodge. There's no way you could dodge there. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I can beat this guy. He's not that hard. He just got lucky. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna go back here. I'm going back to the sanctuary. That's a bit closer. And the bird. Like bird. Get out of here, like birds. No, I didn't want to use that. Thought I had my vials up. Yo. Oh, 
Oh my god. Dude, I'm getting clusterfucked. I can't do anything. Ugh. This part's annoying. I hate when they put really tough enemies next to smaller enemies so that when you go after the tougher enemy, they lure you into where the smaller enemies are and then you can't kill the tougher enemy because the smaller enemies are all over your ass. You can't do anything. It's stupid. They basically lure you into an ambush. It's like, oh, okay, this guy's fucking pissing me off. I just want to kill him already. Oh, guess what? I'm going to lure you into a bunch of smaller enemies that can just, you know, blitzkrieg you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. You're annoying, die, you fucking cunt face. You desire cunt face. Yeah, screw you. Guess not. Just have to kill you. I will kill all of you. Get out of my way. No teleporting skeletons in my face? Great. Disemboweled pus. All right, this time, I'm not going to get hit by him. Oh, wow, that was quick. This is going to be a long part five, or part six. Let me get to the right before we proceed here. I need that drink. You now here, you pentacle bitch. Stop using instant transmission on me, bag. This isn't Dragon Ball. I take it back saying this game's easy on NG+. Plus. I take it back. Who the hell? No. Fuck you.
toughening a cunt face. Holy shit! Oh, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. He hits one shot him with his gun. Patience is a virtue, though, right? I'm not gonna rage. I don't do that anymore. That's what makes the game good, though, when I get killed like this. I like brutal games, not pussy games. Now they're too easy. You like pussy games? Get out of here, you skeleton tag. No, no. No! I might actually need to level up to beat this bag. Might need to level up a few- yeah. Oh, he tried teleporting in my face. You're not gonna teleport in my face when I do this jump. Good. Wow, he's still here, the skeleton clear. Wow, look at that. Alright, I'm killing that skeleton bag, that's why I died. I'm gonna have to get close to him. Just stick close to him, because his gun is extremely powerful at long range. Very powerful. I'm gonna try skipping these queers. I need to be at full health. Don't have time for this bullshit. Don't have time for you. Don't have time. No. No. No time. Come on. Look at this. I might need to make this two parts. This is gonna be long. Disemboweled husk. AKA Grave Lord Nita from Dark Souls. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, okay, yeah, this is going to be a tough boss. There's so much hell. His attacks are powerful. This may take me very well before he tries. Gotta avoid his shots. Yeah, 
I'm dead. Damn, this guy's hard. He's hard on NG+. Him again. Look, he just teleported in my face. Get away from me. Somehow I beat him my first try, and this is going to have to actually be a, a separate playthrough. So I'm going to end it right here, and then the next part will be me trying to beat this boss.